room. Welcome to the sauna. That's yeah. the, the new name for the green room. Used to be the green room. Green room, traditionally, comfortable place where talent hangs out and then goes out on stage. Now, sauna. It's and not that hot, though. Not yet. Not you yet. You think it's going to get hot? I mean, we, we just hit the solstice. We just hit what the What did you do for of, the solstice? Uh, I. What was your solstice plan? Did you have a... Did you call the moon down? Or is that the other one? Is you that the equinox? You and I both know the story which of one, the solstice. Which one do you call the moon down for? Okay. The solstice so, or the equinox? The, the equinox which is, is, please is, the, is, email the, is me. the one good day on planet Earth. The solstice is when the sun has its way with planet Earth and everybody hides afraid from it. So I did the responsible thing. Okay. I hid. Okay. And turned the AC up to all the way. Yeah. That's pretty much it. You didn't like throw a party for the sun? No, because I mean, the sun's the enemy. Like, what? what the sun's nature, my man. Uh, uh, okay. The sun's nature. No, 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 no. Uh, why don't you? Why do you hate nature? I'm, I'm glad you finally brought this up. Uh, mother, Mother I, Gaia I, I, loves I, you and is trying to nurture chong, you. Chong, 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 chong. <laughs> Everybody gather around. This is the trial of the sun. Okay. Crimes of the sun. Yeah. Being too bright. Okay. Fucking up all my shots. Mm. It's hard to shoot when the sun is. So your your shots Worst are being prioritized ever. The sun over like heat and nourishment of plants. I'm sorry. I, I, I you started to speak a foreign language at the end. I, sorry, I, Doc. I, I'm actually connected with the earth. No. God. So, one of like, these. I'm, I'm. I fucking knew this. Fucking, you know what? What up? When you and I met, Josie was two years old. Yeah, it's a fact. And her first words were, mm -hmm. "That fucker's gonna go weird, all hippie shit on you someday." And I was like, "Who are you talking about, sweetheart?" And then she yeah. went back to Gaga Goo Goo. Didn't say another word until three years later. And now I know yeah. she was talking about this moment. Well, because, you know, there's a circle of life. You're part of this. And it sun. rules us all. Oh, my God. It's a leap of faith. The sun's word. mission is to melt Is us. to make beautiful flowers. No. I yeah. mean, first of all. It, Do you not like beautiful flowers? It's definitely there to overexpose you, yeah. beautiful flowers and ruin them on Instagram. The important part of flowers Name anything about flowers that isn't ruined by the sun. Bees. I bet the sun's working on that one. If the sun went away, we'd all die. See, this is the reason why you need to be connected to Mother Gaia. I'm not, I'm not saying. The why sun do you hate is, Mother oh, okay, Gaia? Yeah, yeah. This is a, a common misinterpretation. I'm not saying the sun needs to go away. What about that freestyle rap against Mother Gaia that you released on SoundCloud two weeks ago? Here, let me click play on my Walkman. <laughs> Yo, what? Wait, why would you need to click play? You couldn't just recite it? Well, I mean, I, I, you yeah. did it. Okay. All right, you I, did the freestyle will, rap okay, against hold on, Mother Guy. Hold on, let me pull out. Also, this why piece would a why would a Walkman play a SoundCloud link? <laughs> That's another thought. That's a troubling, I, I, troubling I, I, tale I for you your age. I don't need you ruining my scene work here. Uh, the uh, 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 look, it's it's pretty clear to me. Yeah. That the sun. Should be like your Yo. Everybody gather around. Let's talk about the motherfucking song. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Motherfucker. This is not as good as the one you put no. on SoundCloud. No, no, keep on the one you put on SoundCloud was a lot better. <laughs> I'll, the one you put I'll on make, SoundCloud was I'll a make lot sure better. To right record it. No, and, no, and, it and just it was it. just a lot better. Did you become a worse rapper between the time that you posted that anti Mother Gaia rap and now? Is that a thing that can happen? Did you slip and fall and hit your head? 
Did you touch lava? Did you eat toxic waste? And then you became like, it was it a reverse superhero power thing? Because the one that you released on SoundCloud was really fuck. You were like doing like Busta Rhyme shit. Yeah, you no, were like, I, I, I like, yeah. like you were doing yeah. that. Well, I mean, I, look, there, there are times. Can you do a little? No. You want a little bit of a bit you, I was just saying you were doing it on SoundCloud about Mother Gaia. And I'm proud of it. And I'm glad Aunt it's out there. Mother Gaia Everybody diss track. for Mother Gaia diss track Brian Brushwood. It's I know. out there. It's out there. And every so often you, 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 you kiss the moon. Yeah. I thought you would have been excited to do I thought you wanted to do it live mm. because you did it live on all those other podcasts. Well, I, remind me of some of the themes. <laughs> That I touched on in this incredible. I'm not good at songs. Buster. I'm not good at music, but like, I remember that it was like something like, "Hey, Mother Gaia, you stink and you're fake, and you're a construct of man's desire for religion in a non-religious society." And uh, Michael Crichton was right, and uh, it was it was a lot of that kind of shit. You know, the shit that you talk about in general. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, but that's that's yeah. like in private as we're hanging out at Pluck. And then you, you know? did, and then you did it on all those other podcasts. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, like I, I, the I, Glenn I, Beck show. Yeah, and I went on Rogan and and, and did it. And, yeah, yeah, it was the only three minute episode of Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> you just walked in. Did the extended like, version like, of your you SoundCloud Mother Guy in this track. Bit. You're just gonna. T- oh, it's fine. Uh, yeah, no, it was weird that it was a three minute episode it was a th- appearance on Rogan. Why did you agree to that? Well, that seems humiliating. Because I thought he was gonna promote our season three of World's Greatest Con. Oh. Turns out he just wanted to, wanted start to rapping, do the song. And then he cut off weird part. Yeah. Like for inside members. Yeah. He did 75 more minutes of ads. For testosterone pills and yeah. peanuts and uh, 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 mattresses. And weirdly, a trip to the zoo. <laughs> what? It's a new sponsor for him. <laughs> Is it real? Hey, everybody. It's me, Joe Rogan. I just want to let you know the zoo is a great place to see animals. I see animals all the time. Hey, look. There's a zebra. Oh, there's a giraffe. Here's here's a rhino. You can see that too if you go to the zoo. Use offer code Jozu if you want to go to the zoo. Not with me. <laughs> um, I go on a private day when special people are there hey, and man. all the giraffes hey, are upside sh- down. It's me, real Joe Rogan. Oh uh, shit! I know past Joe Rogan has said some things. Yeah, but I just want you to know that I love zoos for real. This is like I a looper epi- like a looper <laughs> ad. There's two Joe Rogans. I didn't go away, but he's still here. Anyway, Joe, continue I, with the ad. I don't know. I don't care if they're state sponsored zoos or uh, kazoos or private zoos or circuses. I'm just saying, get out there. Use code Jozu if you have a, a future version of yourself no, encouraging no, no. you to go you, to the zoo. You, you use code Zoo with zeros for O's. Is there a new code in the future? Uh, oh, man, this is awkward. Listen, I'm Joe Rogan from the future. I, I'm Joe I, Rogan from what I thought was the present, but apparently is the past. I'm just saying it would be in both of our interests if they used zeros for O's. Is this like a hint that the apocalypse happens when... Joe Zoo with two O's and not zeros is used. Joe, you can tell me. Hold on. Don't tell me. I'll bet you that you believe that you're going to violate the paradox no. if you say it. So I'm going to lay in a hyperbaric chamber and divine it through sh- chakra speak. Okay, go ahead. Lay down. Here we go. I'm going to turn on the hyperbaric chamber for you. I'll see you in 35 years. Okay. Beep. 35 years later. (laughs) Everyone I know is dead. Everyone I know is dead. Except me. Who are you? I'm you. Why didn't you die? I waited. Why? Because I didn't get to finish my sentence. (laughs) What was it? You. It was something about. uh, It it was. (laughs) Okay, 
So you didn't remember it? You were there for thirty-five years. I feel like that would be something no, that you would. I I wrote it down. Hold on. Okay, go. It. Hold on, let me find. That. Everyone else I know is dead, though, right? My family's dead. My friends are dead. Jamie's why, dead. Why, Jamie, look up your own death. Why? Why do I have Chuck E. Cheese tokens? Ah, oh, the fuck. Uh, okay. All right. All right. We were talking about zoos. We were doing a zoo read. I was doing a regular zoo read that I thought was a very short bit. And then all of a sudden, you yes, showed yes, up yes. and I, we were in a looper I was thing. There. I yeah. Was you. I yeah. Remember all exactly. Of this. Okay, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. But the important thing was. Did you just get old or did you take a vaccine? What? Moving on. Go. I would never. Go on. Go, go, go. No. Let's talk about that. What, what no, you no, no, no. It was a one-note joke, and I'm not extending it. Go. I would exchange my mind. I'm going to go back in the hyperbaric chamber. Okay. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll set it for 30 more years. Okay. <laughs> Everyone I know is definitely dead. What? Who are you? What? <laughs> Who are you? I have a time machine. <laughs> what? I'm Joe Rogan from 70 years ago. What's your name? <laughs> Joe Rogan. That's a name I've not heard since. Oh. Would you like to get in the time machine? Here's an important message about a zoo. How do you know about the zoo? I... Forget. But if we're not you're... getting any name out of you. Then <laughs> you're just no, a guardian to the next no, part of I, this. I'm definitely you, Joe Rogan. Oh wait, now you? Why do you talk like that? That sounds fucking stupid. Because I'm one hundred plus. But before you sounded old, and now you sound like you're an old timey club promoter from the Catskills. Yes. Is that what happens when you get to be a hundred years old? Well. <laughs> That's a funny story. You see, while you were asleep, I had a time machine, so I went back to the Catskills, and I decided to learn how to be an old-timey Catskills promoter. Take oh, so you, that, that wasn't just... <laughs> But that was a very accurate description of your voice. You are actually that thing. Yes. Well, take my wife. Please. He did it. <laughs> uh... I wish I knew more Catskills jokes. Uh, I'll get into your time machine. No, you just left the Indiana Jones CD playing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there. sorry, John Williams. <laughs> Click. <laughs> um. Okay, so at this point, who's where? <laughs> We have Joe Rogan, old Joe Rogan, very, very old Joe Rogan. Uh, no, there's only two Joe Rogans. And a time machine. You only have two Joe Rogans and a time machine. Yeah. One Joe Rogan who went ahead 70 years in time. The other Joe Rogan who was old but then decided to find the uh, a fountain of youth because he learned how to be a Catskills club promoter. And now we're going back in time. Okay. I'm going to remind you that this was your decision. Maybe, so, so, so did young Joe Rogan decide to leave the future Without finding anything out, he just hopped in, or 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 am I misreading what, that? What, yeah, young Joe Rogan was trying to find things out, and old Joe Rogan was being very cagey. So I assumed that young Joe Rogan was being directed to get into the time machine. <laughs> well, now young Joe Rogan is back. Um, but no, he's in the time machine. Yes. Okay. Uh, thunk, thunk, thunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, young Joe Rogan, are you there? Are you not in the time machine with me? Oh no! I got into your time machine. I I'm comfortable here. So I'm going by myself in the time machine. I have good news and bad news. What's that? The good news is you're going back to the past. Okay. Am I? Do I still have to do the live read for zoos? Yes. Have, so it never got finished? Did I mention I had good news and bad news? What's the bad news? The bad news is you're going back to the age of dial-up. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't know. That seemed pretty lit. You know what? Now that I think about it, that was a time you were very popular on the show News Radio. Yeah. Oh, and... yeah. No, I was crushing puss. Uh, crushing it. I have worse Crushing news. it like I was You're in a in a in a in a, in a in a in a recycling factory. Crushing ever. it like the I was worst year ever. I'm hold on. I'm I'm it was it the year that uh, that my that my old version kept crushing all my runners? Okay, well maybe go, go on. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, I'm gonna click a one. Uh huh. Keep talking. No, because now if I be funny, you're just gonna hit a worse button. Well, who's to say what'll happen? What? I'm getting Joe out Morgan. of the time machine. Click well, click. Uh, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, way to go, me. I'm sorry. I was gonna send you what year to the best year. What year is it? That's a lie for the record. <laughs> you weren't gonna send me. You were doing a menacing voice. You're doing a menacing voice. You're gonna send me the worst year. The worst year that starts with one. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fucking I, year is, but you were sending okay, me to the okay. worst year. I think you and I both know what the worst year, starting with the number one, is. Let's go. Let's digit both by say digit. It at the same time. Yep. One, one thousand. Oh, yep, yep. Uh, uh, yeah. That's my guess. Uh, I think everything gets better past that. Uh, uh, 12, uh, two, five. <laughs> I mean, like, you might know because you have a time machine. It's not like, it's not fair that you know Eight. when the worst time was because, like, everything else I, I've just read in history books. Two. You're just naming random numbers. No. What? I'm speaking of the year. Whatever I said. A lot of numbers. In it the doesn't inform faith in your character if you don't remember the numbers. Yes. What year is it now? The the codex, current year. The codex predicted you would say this. Brothers, gather round. Gather round. Gather round. Gather round. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, we the have... Count we have prime Joe Rogan. The Council of Rogans. Wait, wait, wait. Are you mocking us? Mocking us, mocking us, mocking us? Mocking no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm uh, thrilled that I populated a council. Yes. Unfortunately, it's, it's 12 o'clock. Uh, it's modern day. All of this has been a hallucination. So I, oh. Am I still in the hyperbaric chamber? No, you're in a chat GPT hallucination. I typed in, please imagine you're Joe Rogan, who's confused about time travel. Shit. And you're the conscious entity, the embodiment of, of Joe, Rogan Joe Rogan in that situation. Yeah. It turns out that if you imagine hard enough, an actual conscious entity emerges. That's you. Your life is a lie. Bad news, nothing exists. This is some real Black Mirror shit. I'm sorry, I'm unfamiliar with the property. What's this? Racist. I don't know what that was. Uh, man, we're just having fun. We're getting loose. We're getting loose, baby. We're getting loose as a goose. You saw Asteroid City. God, it's so good. Is I, it? I, 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 I'm shocked I didn't see it. I had a whole weekend for myself. I didn't see it. It's good. And um, what's your favorite Wes Anderson movie? Because uh, I'm a Wes head. Okay. So, so there are some of those that you've seen that I've not seen. But uh, some moments in the Wes Anderson uh, canon. Journey, uh, uh, the Steve Zizou stuff. The, the Life Aquatic. Yep. Uh, Remember where they go? Uh, uh, what? 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 Uh, uh, where they go? Uh, uh, all claymation. Yes, a little bit of that in there. In yeah. Asteroid City. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, but he got obsessed with claymation because he did the Fantastic Mr. Fox and the Island of Dogs and and that shit. Like he well, had a whole. Of, I, I, I he he, he uh, had a whole claymation phase. Fantastic Mr. Fox is maybe. 100% my most favorite Wes Anderson anything. Uh, like, like I will 
I've, man, I hope that my last thought before I die is uh, remembering Penny jumping up and dancing when the credits played after Fantastic Mr. Fox. It was so, so sweet and adorable. Uh, Asteroid City has just the right amount of sardonic wit to it. It's, uh, I mean, like, that's like saying, like, oh, I want to go see a Michael Bay movie. It has just the right amount of explosions and boobs. Like, 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 like sardonic wit is kind of the brand of Wes Anderson, right? Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. But, uh, you know what? There, uh, there is no but. Um, but is dead. So your favorite is is Mr. Fox. I don't know. I'm I'm a Royal Tenenbaums man myself. I, I like that I've, one. I've been cautious about going. Oh, oh, okay. So one of the things I loved about Royal Tenenbaums was yeah. the all star cast, yeah. right? Uh, Especially of its age. That was that was a fucking cast. Uh, Bryce, if 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 you're able to uh, show us the cast of 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 Asteroid City, like. Granted, some of them are only implied to be there and show up for exactly four seconds, but the cast is extraordinary. Oh, yeah. No, it is It is an insane. It's not only his, like, regular ensemble of people that are in a lot of his movies, you know, like Edward Norton and Jason Schwartzman, uh, Bill Murray. Steve Carell. Uh, I don't remember Steve Carell in a previous movie of his. Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum's definitely a repeat offender. Um, but yeah, Tom Hanks. I think Tom, that's his first uh, Wes Anderson movie. Because remember when Steven Spielberg ripped off uh, Wes Anderson? Sorry? Fucking, uh, Wes Anderson was so hot that Steven Spielberg was like, fuck it, I'm making a Wes Anderson movie. And he did The Terminal with Tom Hanks. So this is like Tom Hanks' second Wes Anderson movie because he was in the Steven Spielberg is ripping off Wes Anderson uh, uh, movie, which even had Pagoda from Royal Tenenbaums playing a fucking Pagoda character in the terminal. Uh, you decide for me, uh, what do we want to dive into? More of the Spielberg side or the Wes Anderson side? Um, I can talk about either of them all day, but but let, let, let's talk about I'm curious where you would go with Spielberg. Um... Spielberg has that glow. D did you ever see the segment that he produced uh, and directed in uh, The Twilight Zone, Kick the Can, with Scatman Carruthers? No. It's an old folks home, and everybody's old, yep. and everything is boring. And Scatman Carruthers said, remember, Scatman Carruthers yeah, said, yeah, 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 yeah. remember we used to play Kick the Can. And it's like, uh, wouldn't that be great? And everyone's like, no, that, that was when we were kids. Well, it's against the rules. And then he, you know, puts on that Scatman Carruthers big, giant grin, and you just want to hug him and embrace him and marry him. And he goes, we'll break the rules. And then everybody becomes children for one night. Okay. And then it's like, you can either stay a child or you can go back to being old. And then somebody's like, my 401k. And somebody else is like, oh, my daughter's about to get married. Yeah. And, and then one dude's like, hey, fuck all y'all. Being a kid's rad. And then yeah. leaves. Um, you ain't never seen that? No. All right. Spielberg glow. <laughs> Thought there was more there. Turns out there wasn't. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I thought you were gonna. I thought you had a point or a nope, thing, but nope, it was just nope, like nope. Uh, I, I thought I was. You ever seen that? I, I, I thought I. You was thought you were gonna up. remind yep. me that I had seen it. Yep. Yep. yep gotcha. Yep, yep. Okay. Um. No Spielberg. It, it's so weird because I was coming of age at a time when people assumed that he was really falling off, and he kind of really did for a period. Like he had, uh, wait a minute. Per the math, you're saying around Schindler's List, pre Schindler's List. Uh, I'm talking like Hook. Like Hook was considered Hook to is be fucking great. I bought think so too because I was a child when it came out. Uh, uh, I don't know if I rewatched it if I would think. But I remember I was talking to Maine, who's older than me, 
And he was like, like, oh yeah, that was considered to be Spielberg's worst movie. Was uh, Hook. Ri- uh, but I thought what, that what, that's what, that, that's what, like we'll that's come, like bullshit we'll just because it's like it's fucking like a, a great Robin Williams performance where it's like he's such a star, there's no like it's hard oh. for him to go full Robin Williams and be like, This stinks. Robin Williams is not the star of Hook. Uh, the 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 star is uh, 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 oh, what's his name? Uh, um, uh, Mrs. Which character? Uh, uh, oh, Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman as Captain yeah, yeah. Hook. Yeah. So um, uh, 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 we'll come back to the larger discussion, but uh, uh, boy, when you read an article about how like they're trying to figure out how to represent Captain Hook. And the behind the scenes negotiations of like, uh, I don't know what works, what works. And it turns out what works is definitely on paper, written out loud, out on the internet is what if he was just an old queen <laughs> with, with, with somebody who he's been in love with forever and ever and ever. And you get those amazing scenes like the, uh, don't make me shoot myself. Stop. Don't you try yeah. to stop me. Don't you try to stop me. Stop me. Please yeah. do- stop me. Please stop me. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's so good. It's pretty great. No, that movie's rules. I mean, although when I was a kid, I mean, the best character was Rufio because I was a child <laughs> and he's like the like ideal of what you wanted to be. He had a sword. He had a bunch of friends. He was biracial. Like it was everything that a, a, a suburban child fucking wanted. I don't know the difference between Rufio and uh, uh, the, the Griff from <laughs> from uh, Back to the Future Part Two. Uh, like, which one says uh, Bojo? Well, I mean, Bangarang is Rufio's okay thing. Yeah, yeah. Bangarang. You yeah. don't fucking fuck with Rufio. What the fuck, my man? Rufio's an icon. Yeah. No. Is Rufio an icon? Yes or no? Yes, he is. This man's an icon. Brett is here. I mean, he was Zuko in in Last Airbender. Yeah, I was going to flash the only fucking thing that I know would impress Brian, but you got to it before me. (laughs) Yep. Perfect timing. Although you knew the character name. Yes. I was going to say he was one, he was a guy in looking for his honor in uh, something. What was it? What was that? (laughs) The one, the anime that wasn't an anime? have you already forgotten the, the last subject? airbender? Sure. <laughs> That's it. And he's back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, I just didn't remember the name of the thing that you like. Avatar. What was it? The last airbender. Avatar, the last airbender. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What was the next show? What was the sequel to that? Avatar, the airbender after that. <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. The, the Airbender you. after next. That other. That <laughs> other Airbender. All right. So, uh, which which one was better? Uh, shit, I've already forgotten. The uh, uh, we were talking about Hook. Uh, what was the other movie that we loved? Were Hook. And then uh, y'all were talking about Steve Zuzu. No. And then, uh, we're I we're too far past that now. No, not not not, not the terminal. Was it that one Scatman yeah. oh, oh, Crothers? Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick yeah, the can. No, no. Yeah, but yeah, I hadn't seen can, that. Yeah. Also, people were thinking that it wasn't Twilight Zone. It was Amazing Stories. No, it was definitely it Twilight Zone. It was Twilight Zone? Zone? Yeah. Okay. Uh, because uh, Twilight Zone opened with uh, Dan Aykroyd uh, uh, yes. doing... Uh, boy, this is a whole experience that so many people will not remember. There used to be a time when you could neither tune in to a radio station nor have any kind of communication on your cell phone. And so you would do a crazy thing called talk to whoever was in the car with you. Yes. And you would do crazy things like each of you trade off remembering music sounds and then guessing what theme song you were doing. Yep. And then one of you, of course, would turn into a werewolf. Yes. And eat the other. Right. All right. Well, I'm glad we're all caught up. Four times. I don't know what kind of fucking eighty <laughs> shit y'all are fucking talking about right now. It's not even I'm a nineties bitch. Give me the nineties version of this. Oh yeah, Game Boys were invented. We didn't talk to each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't need that shit. 
Back Fucking in the eighties, like we had to remember things. caveman talk. Get the uh, fuck out of here. Uh, <laughs> I forgot where we were going with Hook. Um, oh, 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 oh thinking episode. that. Um, that Spielberg had fallen off, like yeah. that there oh, was that yeah. there's period, yeah. Yeah. and like I, I remember like it was that period post, like it pre, might have actually pre, been post Schindler's pre list. Jurassic Park, right? So so like no, uh, it's post Jurassic Park. No, Hook I, was post Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park's ninety four. I think it's before because I was working at the movie theater. During Jurassic Park, and I know this oh, because maybe. I fucked up as the projectionist and did a brain wrap and then ruined the movie for 500 people. Uh, so, pretty sure that one. No, you're right. Yeah, in. Hook 91 uh, and uh, Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park 93. 93. Yeah. So, I guess, yeah, it was around maybe the late 90s that I remember, like, as, a, as I was coming online as a film fan, both... Uh, non-metaphorically and like going on forums and also just wanting to go see a lot of movies. There was this idea that like, all right, Spielberg is not doing the same good shit that he was doing back in the seventies and eighties, like in the late nineties past Jurassic park. And like AI was part of it. And really for me, it was minority report. That was the first one that I was like, Oh, this dude has fucking got it. Yeah. No, he's finally, back. He came he's back, back from, the doldrums of saving private Ryan. Yep. Oh man, I was a kid. <laughs> I got opinions. Uh I had no. opinions, baby. You know. And I was out here in these talkbacks fucking spreading them. Spreading them like a disease. Nice. Like a random disease concocted in a lab, funded <laughs> oh by the Can American we talk about government. That shit? Can we talk about uh by the way, real metaphorical quick. disease. <laughs> yes. Yep. Uh, 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 I'm going to cash the check to create this metaphorical disease. Oh, who's there on the check? Harvey Little Weinstein. Tony Fauci. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein caused Shakespeare in Love to steal Best Picture from yes. Saving Private Ryan. He did, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's talk about this Wuhan shit. I think it's a lab leak. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Kind of killed the runner. <laughs> What? That's kind of just just wanted to make a runner joke. I didn't really want to talk <laughs> about it. Signed. I I'd actually talk, I want to talk more about the fucking Harvey Weinstein thing. To be honest with you. Okay. How did Do you we... know how he did? The, did the thing? The stories I've heard is everything from gift baskets to uh, uh oh to actually creating wings of uh he remodeled nursing homes, nursing homes. Yeah. yeah he remodeled because he realized that the dead bandwidth in oscar voting was was with was, was old, old people yes yeah who were in the collective yeah. uh, uh and and so it's like if you won them you would have an outsized portion of the voting base and so that was the that was the move just make sure it's like like hey you have a whole new rec room and uh, uh, they'd be like, you're amazing. It's like, don't forget to go watch that Shakespeare in Love. Mm -hmm. You're like, uh, I have the VHS. I'll, I'll vote. And then they all watched it together in whatever the new media center was. And, yeah. you know, whatever Ginger Rogers is there. Oh I don't God. know if she was still alive. I, I, I would like... love to believe, like, it gets even more nefarious where it's like uh, 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 you pay somebody to say, hey, I here's saving private ryan and it's like an altered false version of it that never gets seen again and where the nazis win yes exactly yeah. where it's oh, just like geez, i think the yeah. nazis are okay I don't it's just it. harvey weinstein sweeting the ending <laughs> yes <laughs> he's just harvey weinstein is hitler <laughs> he's just like like now i've won <laughs> <laughs> the end the end <laughs> directed by steven spielberg yeah. That's actually a really funny idea. Especially now that Harvey Weinstein's somebody that you could like just destroy. Like, like who's, yeah. who's and who's everyone would cheer. To? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, okay. Unfair right. to Harvey Weinstein. So, so yeah. A low budget comedy. Uh the true story. 
of Harvey Weinstein's of Shakespeare in Love. Shakespeare in Love. Yes. Finally brought to the life. The real story of Shakespeare in Love. Right. And so and so we get somebody who who like intentionally is just gross as fuck as Harvey Weinstein. He's like you get me them old pussy votes. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then somebody comes in, and after that, it's pretty much a, a be kind. But Huffy, line. but Huffy, we <laughs> got to make sure that they vote the right way. They're never going to vote against a Holocaust movie. I'll show them. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm definitely actually Harrison Ford, <laughs> and it's it's Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. And I'm Harrison Ford. Can we make this movie, please? This would be amazing. We can right now. Uh, 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 who are you, ma'am? I was little Judy Juju <laughs> in the movie. Crazy for Marbles. Starring Kristen Wiig as <laughs> Little Molly Juju. <laughs> uh, I'll do whatever it takes if you bring back fudge on Thursdays. <laughs> I'll okay. bring your fudge back on Thursdays. This is a good movie. <laughs> yeah. Starring Steve Buscemi as Weinstein's gangrenous penis. <laughs> it's a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the biggest star in the room. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Shit. So Asteroid City, good movie, huh? Yeah, I, I, I actually don't know if it's a good movie, and I don't even know if it's a movie, but whatever it is, I loved it, and I can't wait to watch it again. doesn't seem like it has much of a plot in, in, in the trailer. Yeah, well, uh, it seems like it's like a, just a lot of... Wes Anderson cool vignettes. stuff. Yeah, it, it, that's kind of how I phrased it. So, uh, uh, minor spoiler, uh, uh, opening scene is like, hello, I'm a guy on television about to tell you about a play. Here's a play writer. Everything you're about to see is going to be a play. And then, uh, uh, and then it becomes the movie. And then it always comes back and it reminds you, this is a play. And so, once you enter that conceit, all of the uh, structured framing of everything, the fact that everybody hits their marks and everybody uses stilted language and so on, and the fact that somebody who's meant to be balding but very clearly has just had his head shaved and is wearing a half toupee over his stuff, all of that works. So it's, it's almost as though they wrote a conceit that said, what if a Wes Anderson movie was allowed to go full Wes Anderson and yeah. not try to tell a story at all. I really liked French Dispatch. I thought that was like the first time that he had done a movie in a long time that was as funny as some of his earlier movies were. Because a lot of the movies, you know, in, in the last 10 years for him, for me, have been very heavy leaning into the aesthetic mm -hmm. and very much into the emotion of some of his stuff. But that's the thing with like Rushmore or Royal Tenenbaums, like those movies are fucking like laugh out loud funny. Like they're like really, really good gags and jokes and stuff in it. And French Dispatches was the first movie that I had seen from him in a while where it was like, oh no, here's a joke about Wes Anders or about a Owen Wilson falling off his bicycle or something like that, where it's like, oh yeah, you're actually like a really funny comedic storyteller. What do you think? A double feature of uh, of Asteroid City and Oppenheimer. What do you think? Oh, man. <laughs> Oppenheimer is one I'm very, very excited to go see. I got to get my fact, tickets. I, I literally thought about driving three hours north to go see it in IMAX. Uh, uh, guy. I'm very excited for Oppenheimer. Why would you drive three hours north? Be, uh, because there's only, I think, uh, seven to ten theaters that are going to have it in true 70 millimeter IMAX. Oh. And, and part of me kind of wanted to like. So, not at Bob Bullock. It's not going to be there. No, no, oh, not okay. in Austin. However, uh, I don't know how much of this I'm allowed to talk about, but uh, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with the way I intend to see. Okay. Power. Yeah. All right. Uh, hey, there he is. Hey, Mr. Bryce. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Bryce Castillo. Um, hey, everybody. Uh, did you see the thing going around today? 
Which one? There's a list going around. Did you around. see this? Have you heard, Have about, you heard about this? Please tell us. There's a list going around. This is from Data is Beautiful on Reddit. You guys know the data. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a graph. The top 100 most pornified franchises. I did see this. This time with Western data. Wait, what? So someone had, had uh, I guess, scraped an, a Japanese website a long time ago for what are the brands and franchises that have the most, like, most porn. porn. Right. But, so, but so now like, he's gone example, through and added. Uh, Walmart famously is, you know, uh, beguiled by all of its uh, Sam Walton porn. If you were doing stores, yes, but this would be more television and movie franchises. Oh, Simpsons. Yeah. And there Family we go. Guy. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So the one that I, like I saw. I the world where he thought Arby's was on a list somewhere. Yes. <laughs> They've got the meats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so I. Yoki and Morcock. Sorry. Yokiero Morcock. Yes. More. Okay. Uh, about so yeah. <laughs> we, I think we all know. Again. I think I, we all know. Yes. Yes. Yokiero Morcock. Not even the right rhythm. No. No. I, Not the right accents. Oh, alliterations. <laughs> consonants. I just need that with the little dog. Just. But Brian Sheepish, no, 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 in a video. I just need Brian Sheepish delivery on Yokiero Morcock. <laughs> try to try to pull out of the bit in the middle of no, the bit. It's, no, I mean, it's, I mean, perfect. We're, we're, it's perfect. We're back to uh, 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 fucking brands. Yeah. Oh yeah. From Classic. Our EP. Yeah. So what? What would be some of? Well, you want to see? Uh, well, we'll, we'll go to the bottom here. Yes. We'll the bo- this is the top one hundred. Uh, number ninety nine. Ben ten. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Number 98, Scooby Doo. Well, classic. classic. I mean, look, it's got a lot of years under it. Do- so a lot of Do- people. It, what? Daphne and Fred and Velma. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but I don't know if Scooby, Scooby ever fucks yeah, anybody. No, no, I, I would imagine, like, like Shaggy is, is, is jerking off in the corner. Well, no, Scooby Doo is great for porn because you've got a possibly fluid Fred. Yeah, you've got an obviously attractive Daphne, uh, conventionally attractive Daphne. You've got a coded lesbian in Velma, Velma. Yeah. and then you've got Shaggy, who can either be he's like the, the goofball, or he can be just like the big dumb dick. Yeah, that fucks any and everything. Yeah, I don't know if Scooby usually shows up, although oftentimes in the ads, sometimes Brian is fucking people in Family Guy porn. So. The, like yeah. it's, it's not like the dogs are, are totally are out. Off You're limits. Like, that's, yeah. yeah. That's number four. Yeah. <laughs> not going to lie. Kind of felt a flash of paralysis when you said Brian. <laughs> Brian the dog from Family Guy. Yeah. It's only one of the most common names of the past decade. Yeah, not a big fine. deal. Nope. Uh, some other ones near the bottom of the list here. Some interesting ones. Uh, Guilty Gear. A, a uh, sure. Japanese fighting game. Sure. Uh, Minecraft near the bottom of the list here yeah it's hard to to do a physical representation of that not a lot of characters because it's a very specific art style eight bit fucking well because what are you gonna do paint a girl green say she's a creeper like like well like fan art i think most of this is like fan art and illustrations and stuff i don't think it's like knockoff porn videos Really? Yes. Oh, this is all pictures? These are all like... But even then, what are you going to do? He's going to have a, a stubby 8-bit cock? Like, you know, I guess more than 8-bit. He'll knock it. Yeah. Uh, a couple above that. Team Fortress. I wonder if when he was hitting it, little bits were coming out. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, ding. That's the noise. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Diamond tip, I, dick. I don't see for any more bits than 8. Seems like 8 is a fine number of bits. <laughs> Uh, also kind of low here, Roblox. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Roblox. Roblox. Okay. Attack on Titan. Uh-oh. What? Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Funnily enough, none of them have Gunther in them. Not one. What are you doing? You're laying out, a, you're laying out work for people. Yep. Uh, just above <laughs> Attack on Titan, Deltarune, the, uh, the indie RPG. Cool. Right above that, Mortal Kombat. Sure. Get oh over, yeah, yeah. Well, get that over one, that's shocking. That one tracks. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Where was that? Where's that on the list? We're we're still in like the eighties. Get the 70s. fuck out of here! These kids don't know what they're missing. They should be drawn more fucking for Mortal Kombat. Those those uh, characters were built to fuck. Like I mean, like uh, come mm. on. 
What's the deal with these kids? <laughs> you know what? Hold on. Stop everything. We're going to rank all of the characters of the original Mortal Kombat <laughs> all right. most to least fuckable. Most to least with, or least to most? Uh, uh, least first. Uh, uh, Baraka. Uh, what? <laughs> Come Baraka, the guy with the with the, with the sheet with the with the <laughs> knives coming out of his arms. Well, we're talking about Mortal Kombat One, my friend. Oh, was that two? I, well, I, 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 all I know is then that you need to lead this thing here. Yeah. Okay, you need yeah. To lead this look, thing look, here. Yeah. As was... best I remember, uh, characters in Mortal Kombat One. Yeah. Kano. Uh, okay. He's a dude. He's in the middle. He's in the middle. Yeah, yeah. He's in the middle. Weird cyborg face. He, he fucks. Curls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Sonya. Sure. Sonya Bl- well, wearing Jesus. yoga we're already, pants. We're at, we're at the top. Yeah, yeah, we're at the top uh, there. Shang Tsung, the bad guy at the end. I think these are all fuckable characters. Okay. We, we have yet to hit Go an unfuckable character. Can, can we focus on the real conflict? Yeah. Uh, 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 Scorpion? Sure. Or Cold, cold Guy? Uh, Sub-Zero. Uh, Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Big gamer. Yeah. I don't know. If you like. Which one's hotter? Well, which one's hotter? I mean, by temperature, Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sub Zero is me. is colder. Is Don't cold. freeze me. A little bit frigid. Yeah. yeah, but I think both of them are like that's like fetish fucking like you know yeah, uh, uh, stuff, yeah. yeah. Johnny fucking Cage. an icicle. I mean like that I mean, based on the vanilla idea of, right uh, Jean Claude Van Damme. Of course, sure. yeah. In fact, I, I all of these characters wanted. fuck every single character that you are talking about fucks. Like, like, there's, there's nobody in the is there, original is there Mortal Kombat. In your mind who's like, who's supposed to be low on this list? Because we did get a lot of high, but was there someone in your mind who's like, this person is the least fuckable? Goro. What? The man with four arms? I mean, there's the a lot of things. Guy I can, there's a lot arms? of work. That's Pause gonna everything. There. Pause everything. Listener, he's at the home. most unfuckable. Pause what the fuck? During Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> Pause the tape Shame. now and have a discussion. Hopefully you've had your discussion. <laughs> please and fill out back. please fill out your worksheets and turn it into the teacher. Uh Tomb Raider, of course. Tomb Raider is pretty low on this list, to be honest. It's huh. in the mid 70s. It's right let's, below. Let, let, let's go back to the top ten. Go top ten? Okay. Yeah, here we go. I gotta scroll a little bit here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, number ten. How many of these do you think you would think about jerking off to out of these ten? You know what? I feel like that's an unfair framework. Let's rephrase it as how many past tense have I already? Have come you to? already? Yes. Have you already right. busted? Yeah. Fat yeah. nuts too. That that I could tell you. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, and we already did three out of the top ten. We or? have done none of them. Oh, done. 10. Okay. Oh, okay. Those, those were. All, I, th- I thought. Okay. Go those ahead. were low. Those those are all low. Go, go, go. Okay. Number ten with eighty six thousand items. League of Legends, which makes a sure. total a bunch of sense. Sure. There are sure. eighty different characters. They're Zero all different. Nuts. Zero nuts. Although, wait a minute. Uh, League of Legends had that Netflix show, right? No. Yes. Yes. But also it was in they their have lore. a million characters yeah. already. Yeah. Okay. And it's the biggest game in the world. Number nine, 86,612 items, Fire Emblem. Mm. I know you know. Do you either two, you two, Brian no, or Justin, was, know Fire Emblem? Is that an indie game or is that, or, uh, mm-hmm. no, or is that a, a, a big, big one? It's, oh, is that There was Namco? an anime first. No. I do love the fact that the chat room is already like telling on themselves, shouting out, Diva! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Overwatch number 12. Overwatch. Oh, wow. Didn't Outside looking in. OLI. Wait, what? That's right. Uh, Fire Emblem. It's the, the Knights and, and, and Swords tactics game. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, no. I did. I actually saw my brother in law playing it when yeah. he was down here. Was he yeah. jerking off? Yeah. He was not. Uh, <laughs> is... That's how you win. That's how you win. And you want to know what? We're just going to keep moving on because any further details would make it weirder. In the room. It was so great to watch the way Bryce said that and then immediately. Divert his gaze back to his phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's got a lot of work. Uh, number eight, DC. Universe. DC uh, comics. DC comics. Yeah. 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 That's oh. cheater. That's how, how the fuck is it cheating? 
Well, because it doesn't break it down by character. Yeah, and what game you wouldn't and do which, like well, yeah, Superman they're, they're or Batman. Because I feel like if you broke, maybe it's unfair to everybody else. Because if you're just like, oh, just the Superman porn, just the mm-hmm. Batman porn, just the Green Lantern porn, you know, he can make anything he wants out of that fucking ring. Sure, Wonder anything, Woman, Catwoman, anything sure. he wants with that ring. Uh, also, Marvel yeah. ended up fourteen. Real quick, I would love a scene. Where Green Lantern is explaining to the rest of the Justice League of America, yeah, I can make anything I want. Anything I want. Great. Anything. You know, it was all fun and game. Glance. It was all fun and game in the orgy until water sports sapped him of all of his powers. <laughs> let, that one, yeah, let that no, one. Let that one settle no, in. No, no, no. Let I'm with it. I'm with it. That was in. fucking tight. That was good. He's Woo. reading my mind. <laughs> Number seven. No, I was there for it. Fate. Sinestro. Fate. Fate. Wait, fate? Uh, this is a long running Japanese series. Oh, oh okay. Don't care. Fate say night, fate, all the fates. Don't uh, care. Above that, 91,000 items, Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah. sure. Sure. A bunch of. <laughs> it does help big that hits. there's been a bazillion D Final Fantasies. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, Appar- just like DC. It's almost like they don't know what the word final means. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's really going to bite him in the ass one of these days. Yeah, one day people are going to be like, hey, hey, hey. I thought the first one. Like- there are no more fantasies. We Oh, there's another one? Target employee. I, I've got a question here. Uh, all right, we're in the top five now. At number five, five, five. Sonic the Hedgehog. That you, one gets really Sonic pregnant. Me. So that's that's the thing is I was looking at another version of this list and I don't know if it was the same data, mm-hmm. but there were it was the most pornified characters. Oh, interesting. A lot of Sonic characters on there. Sonic's there. Mm-hmm. Tails is there. Knuckles is there. Not a lot of Eggman. No. Justice for Eggman. Really? Yeah. Oh. Big big bo- Sa- big boys sizes. need love too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. Truth hurts. Yeah. All right, that's number five. Uh, number four. This is a long running anime series. Naruto. <laughs> but they can with, only have sex with, with their arms behind them like this. While they're... All like of them. all of them. No, I mean they Naruto. threw fucking DC in one bucket. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Um, super long running, and yeah, they got the Burrito yeah. follow up. All right, number three. Uh, Brett might know this one. Uh, one hundred and fifteen thousand items. The Toho Project. What is that? That's is that like a Godzilla and shit? No, but that that is also to- that is to that is a. Different Toho. A different Toho. Yeah, okay. I actually don't know what that is. Uh, it is a very, very long-running uh, shoot 'em up series. Okay. It's where the Bad Apple song comes from. Um, it, they've just made How's a that go? Of I have no fucking idea. Okay. I just know oh it. My God. Nice challenge. Just lay down a beat. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's the funniest version. <laughs> the funniest <laughs> version of that joke <laughs> is everyone refusing just to lay down a beat. <laughs> <laughs> We're all like, nope. Someone else will pick this up. <laughs> Fix it in post. Bryce, what's next? All right. Just dive into this thorn pit. <laughs> Number two. This is almost twice as much as the last one. My Little Pony. Uh, yep. Thank you, bronies. So many people are about to fuck some donkeys because they can't afford proper horses. Okay. So they're going to buy some donkeys. And then they're going to play the soundtrack of My Little Pony. But they're fucking a donkey. Fucking a lay donkey. Down, lay down a beat. No. A donkey. <laughs> no. don't, don't think that this wasn't our punishment for not laying down a beat. <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> You know what? I'll just I, we'll don't just think power don't through. Think Close your eyes and think of English. Yeah. We got this. The Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> no, no, one. this is this is the furries thing, right? Because both Sonic bit. and this Bronies, are, are, really. are, it's a, it's are are running. are There's are, a million are, characters. Are the furry, yeah. the furry element. Yeah. Shout think? out to our furry brethren. Yes. What do you think number one is? I'll tell you that number one is over twice as much would as would I know it? MLP. Yes. Okay. Okay. It, would all of us know it? Yes. Okay. All right. Gather around, gentlemen. All right. Listen up. There's some shit that people want to fuck. What's In fact, some... I will I will give you the answer off air. Oh, I actually I actually know what it is. 
because it was I think it was the same number one as the one the other the other Interesting. version. Well, the other two of you. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Fog. What if I told you that there were a lot of people who wanted to fuck <laughs> the very best? The best there ever like, was. Like, no one ever mm-hmm. did. To fuck them all was their own test. To and fuck I, was their call. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck them all. Yeah. Fuck them all. Yeah. Gotta uh, fuck them all. I mean, so you have a defined man and, and woman, right? And then you got the Team Rocket yeah. people running yeah. You fuck me and yeah. I'll fuck you. And then you can fuck all the Pokemon. Pokemon. You, you can, you can pun- fuck you them can all. Punish fuck the bad guys. Yeah. Or you can uh, positively fuck the member of uh, your preferred uh, 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 sex on uh, either side. Just the um, nurse. Uh, <laughs> Eggs. The fuck are we doing to our kids? Yeah. yeah. Why does you can fuck Squirtle, fuck? but no, it's just pee. Why doesn't anybody bring up Cobra Commander? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm just over here giving a job to Destro. <laughs> Brian, you just keep going. I'll be right back. <laughs> keep going. No, no, I'm done. No, 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 no. Do the cover commander bit. No, do the no. do the cover no, commander. No, no, no. no. Rags you out sure? my voice. No, I won't. You sure? I won't do Cobra Commander. Uh huh. But I may do Starscream. <laughs> Bye. Get over here. Bye. He ran out. Yeah. Who was that guy? It's okay. I want to hear more. Of... <laughs> Give me more of that star scream. Uh, I feel like there. What was the third voice in the triumvirate of of? There was Star Scream. It was uh... a little Star Wars guy. That little goblin Star Wars guy. Uh, Yoda. No, Salacious Crumb. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, that guy. Oh yeah, Lord. No. Yeah. No, that was close. That Definitely want to fuck him. Of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm halfway through getting a blowjob from Salacious Crumb, and then I realize this is really a hand job. <laughs> 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 it sounds like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Wait. please take it, take us away. Mission control. All right, thank you to the green room, great room, whole dang it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to. The Great Night Pre-Show, Great Show, Green Show, whole dang thing. Thank you so much for joining me here. It is June 27th, 2023. Let's check out our birthday borner. This is the part of the pre-show where we give out the shout-outs that you've asked us to give our shout-outs to for your birthdays, including Grandma Tun's birthday, who was on, or their birthday was on the 15th. Happy birthday, Grandma Tun. We've also got Father of Curses celebrating their birthday on the 25th. Happy birthday. And uh, Meryl Barr's birthday was yesterday on the 26th. Happy birthday, Meryl. If you want to get a birthday shout out, go to our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. Check out the Birthday Borner channel at the top of the thing. It may look empty because that is for security. All right, folks. Thank you so much for joining us here. We're going to have a few more minutes uh, before we get started with the whole dang thing. Coming up, uh, we are going to do a, a classic game. Uh, uh, it, it'll be a lot of fun. It's the Startup Spelling Bee. Actually, let me talk about the Startup Spelling Bee because... Uh, I I asked ChatGPT to help me with this. Startup Spelling Bee has gotten much, much more difficult to write, um, partly because Angel List spun out, I think. Angel List spun out Angel Work, which was the whole reason that they had like the publicly searchable uh, list of, of startups. And now they want you to pay, they want you to have an account, they want you to get... And so I asked ChatGPT, hey, hey, can you just look on Angel List, find me names of a uh, uh, of startups, find me names of startups, and go and find the valuation, go find the location. These are these are very basic, common things I look for. And uh, uh, after a while, I was like, uh, uh, no, no, I can't, I can't really do that. And so I was like, okay, well then, just look anywhere. And so it, it ended up giving me some uh, that were all right. Um, but it only gave me six. And then whenever I would be like, hey, can you give me more? 
first off, it took forever because it kept thinking, oh, it wants you. Oh, he wants more information about all of these, which I don't. Then I said, well, can you just add more to this list? And then it couldn't it couldn't find anything. It was browsing and it and and you watch watch with when the chat GPT is doing the browse stuff. You can see it go like uh, 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 I'm clicking a link. I'm reading the page. I'm thinking about it. No, there's nothing here. Let me go back. And you do that for about 10 minutes and you're like, OK, this is actually not saving me any time at all. Um, but it turns out uh, there is still a, a resource that we can use for this. It is a Crunchbase, which uh, also does have its own uh, premium subscription trial thing. Uh, oh, that's the problem. The problem is, I think we ran into this before. It actually yes. is, is, I guess there's a reason why we haven't done this bit in a while. Yeah, because they just make it, they just make it difficult to find these things. Yeah. So the nice thing with Crunchbase is that all of the information that normally I would want, um, they, <laughs> this is fun. After you view a certain number of profiles for free, they paywall you, and they, it's like a New York Times thing. Like a you can fucking see it. Times thing, huh? But guess what? I can still see that shit. They they gray it out a little bit, but you can still see it right there. The valuation, uh, you, you can see the name. That's real CEO material, Bryce. You figured it out. You're cutting costs. I'm thinking. Uh, it's like Elon saying, "What if I just don't pay the bill? What if I don't pay any of the bills? Maybe." Hmm. Who knows? How about, how, about, how, about you, how about you figure that one out? Google? Yeah. I, I think if I ran Twitter, I'd probably uh, pay the bills. Well, they started paying the bills. They got a CEO, and I guess her job was to pay the bills. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Interesting uh, move. Not unlike how I got started with this organization. I was uh, say, <laughs> trying we're, to get weird we're, things we're, 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 We are running into some uncomfortable <laughs> parallels. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, 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 Justin, you want to talk a little bit about uh, racing with me? Yeah, man. Very briefly. I fucking love races. This weekend uh, is the Austrian Grand Prix in Spielberg at the Red Bull Ring. Are you excited about the Red Bull Ring? Oh, Christ, Bryce. I love it. Uh, you know, if there's one thing I love, it's the the, the rings in general. Yep. Uh, uh, me and Ariana, we love seven of them. <laughs> and the one I love the most at the top of that list is Red Bull. Yeah, it's a good one. It's, an, it's a classic track. Um It'll 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 be uh, uh, interesting. A lot of the teams are still developing their car, trying. To Where are we in the season right now? Do they call it a season or something European? Yeah, it's a season. Okay. Uh, we are. They uh, call it like like la saison or something like that. <laughs> La course. Yeah. Uh, I think we are about three two fifths of the way through the season, uh, and we are just about to hit the summer break. So they're about to take a month off. Is the Vegas race this year or next year? It's this year. It's near the end of the year. Uh, it's like the second to last race of the season. Um, we're talking about that F1. We are just a we little are, bit. Yeah. Yeah. You excited for the Vegas race? Yeah, just waiting for F2. They have that as well. Formula 2. In fact, uh, waiting for F3. Formula 3 is also a uh, uh, mm -hmm. very strong thing. That was a fake out. Wait for F4. Just keep going up in numbers because, like Final Fantasy, they'll probably still have them. Yeah. There is also Formula 4. Yes, it is for uh, like teenagers. <laughs> got, got you again. Got it, Wait for F5. They have Formula Europe, but that's not really the same thing. So, so you're, you know what? Hey, pitch it, pitch it. Thinking about pitching, uh, yeah. Formula. I'm giving you, I'm sick. giving you a signal. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, this is a good thing to just like, this is what happens when you've been a comedy partner for long enough. You can just send signals to your partner without anyone else realizing. Yeah. Are you, are you daring me to pull off my pants? No! No. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Back, back. Oh, no. I don't like any of this. Yeah. Oh, no, no, ah, no, 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 <laughs> it went too far. You play too much. You play too much. Oh, man. <laughs> Go racing. Go racing. We'll see you in Spielberg. Uh, <laughs> thank you, everybody, for joining us here in the Great Night Green Room, Great Room, whole dang thing. Of course, you can support us over on Patreon at any time. Patreon.com slash Great Night. That's the name of the website. It's a URL, in fact. That's the whole dang thing. All right. Are we ready to do a show? Let's get our call-outs ready. 
Justin, you good? Yeah, yeah. Brian, you good? Zip, Freddy. <laughs> Zip, Freddy, you good? Hello, friend. Oh, there you go. Was that a hand? Oh, no, that was a red stripe. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't make much of a... Hooray, beer! Hooray for beer. Uh, Annalisa? I'm good. He's good, Kenan. Great. The chat and I won. Everybody. Oh! <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Fred, I'm going to catch you in. You ready to do it? Thank you, sir. All right. 